Hey, what's up, everyone? And welcome back to the Strategy Rewind podcast. Of course, if this is the first time you are watching, listening, interacting with the Strategy Rewind podcast, let me first and foremost say thank you. You could be doing anything, watching anything, listening to anything at right now, this moment. Instead, you're listening and watching this particular podcast. That's right. I said watching because you can watch through the YouTube channel of Miguel LeBron Coaching on YouTube. So if you definitely want to head over there, subscribe and watch. Or if you're already listening, thank you so much for listening. I want to talk about the importance of you being the hurricane. Have you ever seen the movie of The Wizard of Oz? In the movie The Wizard of Oz, this girl is taken away to a faraway land, and she begins to click her toe, her um, what you call these things, her feet, <laughs> right? Her heels, that's the word, her heels. And she begins to say the phrase, there's no place like home. 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 So often in our life, what happens is that a hurricane comes and turns everything upside down. I believe you and I have a choice. We can either experience the hurricane or we can be the hurricane. So often the challenge is sticking to a plan. Can we agree with that? Like you establish a goal, you know where you want to go, you know what you want to do, you know who you want to be, you understand all these things, but so often the challenge is sticking to a plan. We overthink and underdeliver, which causes us to well, be derailed from the plan. Then we actually begin to move. We build momentum and we then want to overachieve. As opposed to sticking to the plan, we begin to deviate and say, I can do more, I can do more, I can do more. The real challenge isn't getting started or even maintaining. The real challenge is trusting the plan. That's the real challenge. We must stay the course. For this reason, you have to think Long term, you have to think long term. Where am I trying to get? What am I trying to accomplish? And even though today maybe I could do more reps in the gym, maybe I could go a little longer, it's good to push yourself, but it's also good to set the pace. I've seen this so often in my experience of going to the gym where there are people who come in on a Monday and they'll smash it. I mean, just going all the way extreme with the weight, and then you never see them again until another few several days later, maybe even by the end of the week. By the time they put in their second exercise, I've already put in four or five. The question is why? And this is because individuals either A, overthink it, and they think I have to do the most to get the most, or B, they deviate from the plan and they say, I can do more than five pounds. Yes, but if you do five pounds consistently for the next two weeks, you will build the momentum. And by the time you get to 10, 10 is going to be feeling super simple. But good for you that it feels simple because the idea here isn't about hulking up overnight. The idea here is about creating momentum. So stay the course. Think long-term. Let's be honest. Everyone wants instant gratification. But I'm sure you've heard what the definition of insanity is, yeah? You know, doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. So when we talk about creating momentum, when we talk about actually accomplishing your goals, there has to be a sense of trusting the process. In the process of obtaining your goals, your emotions will try to betray you and your mind will play tricks on you, making you feel and think that you aren't doing enough. Listen to me. Stay the course. Okay? Trust the plan. Do not minimize your journey nor overlook the momentum you are building by staying the course. Some days, you'll feel pushed to do more. And other days, you won't feel like you want to do anything whatsoever. Either way, stay the course. Keep in mind, there are no shortcuts. So stay the course. Stay the course. If you're picking up the habit of reading, read two paragraphs a day, a paragraph a day. 
And you would say, Miguel, a paragraph a day is nothing. Great. Let it feel like nothing. Because by reading that one paragraph a day, eventually you'll be ready to read two. Two turns into three. And before you know it, you're reading an entire chapter in one sitting. But how do you get to actually reading the entire chapter, let alone finishing a book? I mean, let's be honest. How many times have you picked up a book, started reading it, and just left it to the side? There's a version of you that is outside of the comfort zone. There's a version of you that lives outside of the comfort zone. But that version that lives outside of the comfort zone, oftentimes, never, ever do we think we are going to accomplish it. And we don't even live up to the expectation. Then there's another version of us. And it's the version there's this version of us that's in the comfort zone, right? There's the version that's outside of the comfort zone, that's putting in the work, that's going the distance. And then there's this version of us that we already have gotten accustomed to, which is the version that's not doing anything. It's not building momentum, not building habits, not thinking long term. Or So these two versions of us wrestle where we know we want to get somewhere, but we want to get there yesterday. Because today is almost done. The truth is that you have to stay the course. <laughs> if anything else you get from this particular episode is that the strategy you need to be using right now is for you to stay the course. We can either be the hurricane or we can fall victim to the hurricane. Listen to me, my friend. You can either be the hurricane or you can fall victim to the hurricane. You choose. Do you want to be the person who is the hurricane that is felt and is causing change and, and is undeniable? Or do you want to be the victim of the hurricane? Or you'll continue to feel as though you can't control the change that's happening in your life and that you have little to no say on what you're seeing. I choose to be the hurricane. I choose to be the hurricane. I choose to get up every day and be the hurricane. And even when I don't feel like it, even when things are not going the way I want them to go or emotionally, mentally, whatever the case may be, understand that change is inevitable. And you get to decide your role. You get to decide if you're going to be the hurricane or if you're going to find yourself like Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz, being taken around in this storm, clicking your heels, saying there's no place like home. There's no place like the comfort zone. There's no place like the comfort zone. You have to make a choice. And I want to encourage you that this would be the moment that you make the choice to say, you know what? I'm going to stay the course. I'm going to trust the plan. I'm sure you've heard what many of us have heard, which is the phrase, trust the process. But I'm asking you and I'm challenging you, my friend, trust the plan. Now, maybe January came around, you wrote a plan. February came around, you had a plan. March came around, you're like, ah, forget the plan. We got no plan. We're just going. It's time to recenter. You have to have a plan. Otherwise, how are you going to strategize? If you have no plan, that means you have no strategy. If you have no strategy, that means you have no direction. And you cannot hit something that you're not aiming at. You have to be very clear on what your target is. And so I want to encourage you to click on the link in the show notes and set up a free 30-minute strategy session today. Do not delay. Why? Because you can easily make the change today that is required for you to have the appropriate perspective. Like after this episode, you may say, you know what? You're right. I wasn't staying focused. I wasn't keeping my eye on target. I wasn't staying the course. I was getting ready to abandon it. All right, I'm going to keep staying the course. But then what's going to happen tomorrow or the next day or the next week? When you surround yourself with those friends or you start falling right back into your routine, this is why you need an accountability partner. And we can work together. We can work together for the next couple of weeks, 
that would help you get into the position you need to be. I've had clients where we've worked together for 10 sessions. Each week we get together for about 45 minutes to an hour. We get together and we make sure that they are on par, but not just that once a week. We send text messages, voice messages to make sure emails, tasks, homeworks, to make sure that you're staying on task. You know, interestingly enough, I was talking to a client of mine recently where we were conversing about some changes that's happening in their life. It's very good changes. They actually now are switching lanes in their career and are having this amazing experience, which is so powerful to see that. And I was conversing with them and I was saying, hey, remember, stay the course, trust the process, trust the plan, right? Do not allow yourself to get so busy that you deviate from the routines and habits you've built. And it was so powerful when they were able to reply and say, "Mm -mm, we have built something here and I believe the strategies work. And that's exactly what I believe. I believe this is your season, this is your time, but you have to stay the course. You have to trust the plan. And if you look around and you say, I have no plan, I'm just kind of winging it. This is the moment to stop and reset. Click on the link. Let's set up a free 30-minute strategy session so that you can be the hurricane.